learning journey here at Delta Road uh, has been amazing. It's just grown and grown and grown. It started from uh, a teacher that was here that was here for a long time and she noticed over time certain birds had been here again and again and again. And then when I arrived and she shared that knowledge with me, it was like something just began snowballing. So the children started talking about it because we were talking about it. I got excited about it, so they got excited about it. And I think the excitement just exploded into this amazing world of birds that we now are immersed in at Delta Road. Do we like the birds at Delta Road? Yeah. Do we love the birds at Delta Road? Yeah. Which one do you like the most? Um, the rainbow lorikeet. Eastern Mosella, Rosella, Mudpie. Pretty much only the ones at the back. The, the ones that are on the mural, they're pretty much the birds that we see, yeah! Well we've learnt loads along the way and I think it's going to be one of those things where we just continue learning and learning because, you know, today we've learned something different. It's, uh, it keeps going on. Along the way we've learnt that the names of birds. So we learnt how, what they like to do, when they like to be here. We notice things at different times of the year. And this is the thing with longevity and as time goes past, you can see nature repeat itself. And I think that's what we've learnt as well. So the time that's gone past, you know, each springtime we know that the magpies will nest in the tree behind us. And we know that that's where they nest. Cause, and then we know from our research that we've done with the children that magpies pair up for life and when they've paired for life they will then have their babies in the nest and then they ask the babies to leave because they still want to live where they originally live and we talk about that with children that it's like what you do at home you know you have a your home and then you move out <laughs> and anyway it's a really interesting offshoot and this is what happens with this whole topic it's got these little offshoots that go everywhere this whole bird project has fostered a lot of investigation a lot of inquiry with children and educators and I think it's about finding out more information and about seeing something in, the, in its real life, real natural space. So the investigating part of it has it just keeps going on because we see different birds and we see birds that aren't on our list or aren't on our um, in our knowledge banks. You know we saw um, a Crested, <laughs> a crested pigeon yesterday and that wasn't on our list so we had to look it up in our books and find out some information about it. So, you know, investigating has been a really big part of it. So we've used the internet to look up things. We used a, a basic, you know, information guide about local bird life. We, so we've learnt, you know, you use paper things, you use book things, you use internet and then also knowledge of people that are here. Well, creativity has been a really interesting one. The murals are amazing at Delta Road. It's evidence of the conversations that have been had here at Delta Road with the children. So we worked together with an artist and the council and they came and had meetings with the children, really important meetings where the children felt valued, their ideas were heard, they were listened to, and then the artists used their ideas to come up with these murals. The conversations of the children were amazing about the birds and there was other things that came into it as well as clouds and rainbows and you can see those in the murals as well and the artists worked together to put the bird pictures and the ideas of the children in these murals. When the first set of murals were put up the children couldn't believe it because they Part of that project was the children had a small plaque of their own, each individual child had a small plaque and that was to be included in the original um, mural setup. And they were amazed that their work was displayed on the back of their kinder, you know, in an all important space. So that was a lot of pride, a lot of ownership, a, a real sense of belonging for those children to have their artwork up on the wall and their ideas included in the uh, original artwork. Well, the bird project for me has been about everyone working together. We had children, we had parents, we had educators getting excited and family members, you know, getting excited. If you can instill this excitement on new things that are, that are not actually new, it's in our space. The birds have been here all the time. 
but to notice them, to allow children or encourage children and families to notice what's in their local space and observe it and be appreciative of it, I think is really, really valuable.